The AMI acts as a mythical computer created by Knut to describe how algorithms work at the machine level. Knut describes the associated language for this machine as well. We'll skimp on the details a bit in terms of our discussion here, but you can find the full details in section 1.3 of the text. MIX was designed to preserve the simplest aspects of historic computing so its characteristics are easy to assimilate on different types of computers. Knut describes MIX as the world's first polyunsaturated computer. This fun little piece of trivia, the model number is 1009, which is the average of the model numbers of 16 computers on which it could have been simulated. It's also the value of the Roman numeral MIX. Knuth had planned to replace MIX with a risk computer in 2009 did so with MMIX. I don't know too much of the details on that, but there is a supplement available. MIX allows for both binary and decimal at the same time, so you can think of it as either a binary or a decimal computer. The basic unit of information is the byte, which is capable of holding at least 64 distinct values, but no more than 100 values. So on a binary computer, a byte is 6 bits, and on a decimal, it is 2 bits. An algorithm in MIX should work properly regardless of how big a byte is. A computer word consists of 5 bytes and a sign. Depicted on the right is the overall architecture for the mix. There are 9 registers on the mix. The accumulator or A register contains 5 bytes and a sign. The extension or X register contains 5 bytes and a sign. There are 6 index or I registers that each hold 2 bytes and a sign. And the jump or J register holds 2 bytes. Its sign is always a plus. The accumulator and the extension register are used for arithmetic and operating on data. The index registers are used primarily for counting and for referencing variable addresses. The J register holds the address of the instructions following the most recent jump operation. The mix also has an overflow toggle, a comparison indicator, a 4000 word memory, and an input-output devices. MIX also supports partial fields for words. Don't think of MIX as a state-of-the-art machine, but rather as a theoretical construct akin to a Turing machine. Depicted as the instruction format for the MIX, the rightmost byte C is the opcode. For example, C equals 8 specifies the operation LDA, which is load the A register. The F byte holds the modification of the opcode. It's usually a field specification, although it can be used for other purposes on input and output instructions. The two A's along with the sign are the address. The I fields are the index specification which can be used to modify the effective address. If I is equal to zero, there's no modification, but if I is equal to one to six, then we have the contents of the appropriate index register to the address. We use the letter M to indicate the address after the specified indexing is happened. We use contents M to refer to the contents of the memory cell. To discuss the instructions in a readable manner, we use the notation seen on this slide. Here, OP is the symbolic name given to the operation code. The rest is the AA part of the word, and F represents the I and F fields. If I is equal to zero, then I is omitted. Likewise, if F is the normal specification for a particular operator, then we don't need to write it either. Here we see a comparison of the conventional representation, which is closer to assembly language, compared with the actual numeric instructions, which is closer to machine language. The instruction LDA203 can be read as load A with the contents of location 2000 indexed by 2, the 0 to 3 field. MIX supports a variety of loading operators. LDA means to load A and replace the contents of the register A with the contents of the memory address. LDX works the same as LDA except we use the extension or X register. LDI loads the appropriate index register. Since it is only contained two bytes, bytes 1, 2, and 3 are assumed to be 0. There's also a set of commands for loading the registers with values of the opposite sign. Likewise, there are a variety of operations for storing values. STA is store A. A portion of the contents of register A replace the contents of memory location M. The other parts of M remain unchanged. STJ stores the contents of the jump register, and recall that this value is always positive. STZ stores the value of plus zero at the memory address M. Mix allows us to perform operations of adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing. It also allows us to give the field specification so we can do these operations on part of the value. We use the value V to specify the contents of the memory address. For add, V gets added to the contents of register A. For subtract, V is subtracted for, from the contents of register A. Multiply, the product of V and register A replaces the values in registers A and X, and div A and X is divided by V. Address transfer operations are also available in MIX. Here we use the address M as a value rather than as an address. For example, int A, the quantity M gets loaded into register A. This works similar to the load command except we're using a memory address. 
and he uses INTA zero, which sets register A to zeros with the plus sign. You can perform similar operations with the other registers. There are also operations for incrementing and decrementing the contents of different registers by an address or a value. Increment A1 is a particularly useful command since it increments the accumulator by one. Mixed comparison operators compare the value contained in the register with the value contained in memory. The comparison indicator is set to less, equal, or greater according to whether the value in the register is less than, equal to, or greater than the value in the memory cell. You can compare for each of the different registers except the jump register. Instructions are usually, but not always, in sequential order. Jump instructions allow this to be interrupted. When a typical jump takes place, the J register is set to the address of the next instruction. JMP is an unconditional jump and the next instruction is taken from location M. JSG stands for jump save J. It's the same as the jump except the contents of the jump register are unchanged. And JNOV is the overflow is off the jump occurs. Otherwise, turn off the overflow. There are also jump commands based on comparison operators. There are a host of miscellaneous operators, including shifts for the registers. There is also a move command that moves the number of words specified by the field F starting from location M to the location specified by the contents of index register 1. NOOP or NOP is also included and there is a halt command to make the machine stop. Mix has a fair number of peripherals which Knuth indicates come at an additional cost. There is a tape unit, disc, card reader, card punch, line printer, typewriter terminal, and even paper tape. Sounds like some seriously cool options for the build your own hobbyists out there. As expected, there are also a variety of operators for input and output. The in command indicates the transfer of information from the input unit to consecutive memory locations starting with M. The out instruction starts the transfer of information from memory locations starting in M to the output device that was specified. There are also commands for input and output control and jump commands that depend on whether or not these devices are busy. There are facilities for conversion. Num changes a character code into a numeric code, while char converts numeric values to characters. For analysis, timing is important. Add, subtract, load, store, shift, and comparison commands take two units of time. Move requires one unit of time plus two for each word moved. Mul, num, and char each require ten units of time, and div requires twelve units of time. All remaining operations take one unit of time plus the idle time for input and output. Thanks so much for watching. Next time we'll discuss the associated assembly language and show how to use it to specify.